we gotta figure out how we're gonna get Teresa to talk. Give her these super like, like uh, teddy bear eyes, like. <laughs> yeah, like That's just creepy. <laughs> She'd be like, get out, go. They're gonna give her a Nick sticks. <laughs> What? what did she give you? An address. Did she say what it is? Look at you, Agent Rex. Agent Rex is cleaning up the Adventure HQ. Nice work, man. Oh, look, you put the, the Nerf guns all up right here. Nice work, man. Well, now what I kind of want to do. What? Uh, I kind of want to get, like, wood flooring. Wood flooring? Earth. Like, this is no. wood. No, <laughs> wood flooring. Like, actually nice. Like, like nice wood flooring? Yeah, like this look. Little... Okay, uh, it, look at this. DB was here having a session. Somebody wrote this on our board. DB Cooper, and that's a session. We think that it was Axel's cousin, Jason. Maybe it was Al. Maybe it was DB Cooper himself that was here having a session. That's a drink. And in our last episode, we found these right here, and it was blocked. Let's see, there's your eye, hello. <laughs> and we figured out that we are in the middle of some kind of like gangster battle between Big Tuna and the Shark. Gary and you're so far away. Wait, I... So, what are we gonna do today? Go see Teresa. We're gonna take this box to go see Teresa. In a few mysteries, uh, mm, a few mystery episodes ago, we found this box in the woods and it had a gold coin in it. And then the note we found in it mentioned Teresa. Some of you may remember Teresa. She is the one who started us on this whole adventure basically by giving us this giant briefcase with a, some briefcase. kind of bottle, uh, like a map in it. No. Yeah, well, I don't know. We don't know whose briefcase it was, but we are on the D.B. Cooper mystery hunt right now. And How? we're trying to solve the case of D.B. Cooper. Did you burn your hand? <laughs> he burned his hand on this. Yeah, there, and you it said to bring the box the to box. Teresa. And it said signed, Coop. So we are going to bring this box to Teresa today. We're and we're going to see what she says about this. Now, we don't know if she will, because what did she say last time? That she wants to wash her hands of it? Yes, she said she was washing her hands of this. So she might reject us right out. We'll see, but we're going to try. We have to try, because we need to solve this TV Cooper yeah. mystery. Right. right? All right, so who's ready to go see Teresa? I want to hear you. Who's ready to go see Teresa? Misa! Misa! Misa, see Teresa! All right, let's go and see if Teresa has anything to say about this box. Oh no! Somebody took out the escape ladder! Zombies! Zombies! What are we gonna do? To go see Teresa, no. it looks like we're gonna no, have to no, go no, down no, the no, escape no, hatch! No, go, 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 go! I'm going! Go, go, go! Go faster! Oh no, the zombies are here! They're coming! Sorry, Darian! We're just gonna have to shut that! Shut the hatch! Stop. They're gonna eat Darian alive, but at least we'll be safe. <laughs> you do look like you have zombie blood in your lips. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. Let's go down. <laughs> That's the same thing that happened. Okay, I probably shouldn't have tickled him while he's hanging from a rope. That's a bad idea. Okay, now let's go see Teresa. Okay, Agent, so we are on our way to Teresa, and there is a big Lego set that Agent Rex got in the back. What's it doing? It's flying out. Look at it. So it's a new Lego set that Agent Rex got for his birthday. It's a Millennium Falcon, and they're going to do a video about it later. But we don't want it to fly it out yes, of the back of the truck. <laughs> okay, so we are almost to Teresa. We'll be there very soon. All right, there it is, right there. That's the antique store that Teresa works at. So we gotta go find a parking spot. I see her. Okay, so she's right at it. She did. She has okay. glasses on. Maybe she like. Do you, do you think she recognizes you? Maybe. Maybe Darian, because Darian was wearing that same shirt. I don't know if she recognizes this. Let's get serious. We are about right. to go talk. This is no. serious. I need to tell you something. Okay, what is it? What? Is it? What's serious? These are good enough to trade for like a Death Star. <laughs> so they're trying out. For Mighty Organic. Mighty Organic. These are, this is some good beef jerky. This is not the same type of jerky as the Nick Sticks. Nick, so yes, yeah, so to get serious here, it's a brainstorm figure out what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some good quality adventure snacks here. We got Nick Sticks beef jerky sticks, and then we got this no, other stuff that we this have is found. better beef jerky, but that's better sticks. Yeah, yeah. So this has fat in it, which is why I like it more. That doesn't really have any fat. It's just got a lot of protein, which is still good. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get Teresa to talk. 
because last time, what did she say? I washed my hands of this, right? So how are we gonna get her to talk, to share information if she has any more Pretty please. about this box? Pretty, Pretty please. please? Hey, as simple as that sounds, as silly as that sounds, yeah. I think it's actually the best method, right? Kindness, kindness, uh, respect, gratitude. You know, those are all real life things at work. So maybe if we're just respectful and we're not demanding, we're just like, hey, could you help us out? You know, maybe she'll just give us some information. Some information. Maybe she'll give us some information. Maybe she'll give us some information. I'm gonna need some Nick fix and think about it a little more, and then we're gonna go in there and bring her this box and see if she has anything to say about it. This will get her to talk. <laughs> give her slipper a little beef jerky, huh? <laughs> like, uh, hey, Teresa, uh, yeah, here, we'll give you a Nick sticks if you give us some clues. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa. So what did you just say about Teresa? This is for Teresa. Maybe, <laughs> maybe she watched the channel and saw that we wanted to come over and... She's expecting us? Yeah, so she's like... And then oh, just a minute ago, Agent Pikachu said, hey, we should go in there before she tries to run away. She was sick before, but we're thinking maybe she acted like she was sick so she didn't have to talk to us. And so now we're thinking if she saw Agent Pikachu just now, we better hurry and get in there before she can have a chance to give us the slip and get out of there. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's hurry. Okay, so how about this? Leave the talking to me, okay? All right, all right, I'm gonna do the talking, all right? Hello. Do you remember us? Yes, I do. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. We had a question. We were wondering if you had ever seen this or if you know anything about this right here. We were hoping maybe you could give us some information if you'd ever seen it or if you know anything about it. You guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't. Can't do this anymore with you guys. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't mean to sound mean, but I just I wash my hands of it and I'm sorry. I can't I can't do this. Okay, well um we appreciate it. Um alright, thank you. Okay, sorry. Thank you. She's gonna say we're never gonna figure it out. Shoot. So she said she's. We should done. say if she's ever heard of someone named Al. Named Al? Yeah. Teresa just rejected us and said. I told her I want my beef jerky back. Wait, wait. Ah, oh, you guys. Wait, wait, let's go back and get okay, the Let's beef, get in the truck. Beef jerky and <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, she said that she's washed her hands of it and she can't do this anymore. You jinxed us. He jinxed us. Agent Rex just said, I think that we're gonna figure it out because we've been having really good luck. We've always figured it out. And Some you jinxed us. You hey, jinxed her. Hey, I didn't. Uh, we, we always find a way. Like, we thought we were done with the Game Masters when they stole the other clue. So we shouldn't give up. Guys, we shouldn't give up? Maybe the Back to the Future car will help us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not actually a DeLorean, but the, no. that's close. It's a Corvette. That's a pretty cool car. How can we get her to talk no. to us if she just re literally rejected us? Give us, give her beef jerky. Really? Yes. Give her beef jerky. Yes. <laughs> yes. But why would that work? No. Give her beef jerky! Are you serious? Yes! Wait. Don't you think that would kind of be insulting to her? Like, hey, you wouldn't tell us anything, but maybe if we give you a little beef jerky. <laughs> maybe we can find something invaluable or something in exchange for the clue. Yeah, that's what people used to do. Oh, in like maybe, maybe we can promise her some of the treasure. It doesn't sound like money would help with this. Maybe she already knows there's money involved, but she just doesn't want anything to do with it. What should we do? Hey, I have an idea. Tell me what you think of this idea, okay? You remember how before we went in, I said, let me do the talking? Yeah. Maybe that's why she said no. Maybe if you guys asked her, maybe she'd say yes. 
it's worth a shot. You guys are kids. Maybe maybe she would be more likely to say yes to you guys. Like if you guys were like, please, please. No, what if just us went in and you did Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay, all right, just you guys go in. I like this idea. I think that if she'll say yes, she's more likely to say yes to you guys. Darian, can you bring the camera in there? Can you I do that like for me? she's gonna say no still. I think this is our best chance. Maybe it was a bad idea. Maybe me saying let me do the talking was a bad idea. I feel like every time we do it, mm -hmm. she's like, she's just like, I don't know. She's more likely to say no. But if we do it differently and we ask, like, if you guys say please, and give her these super like, like uh, teddy bear eyes, like, please. Yeah. Like this, like this, please. <laughs> yeah. That's just creepy. Yeah, don't do that. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> She'd be like, get out, go. <laughs> no, say, we won't give you beef jerky unless you tell us the clues. You guys could do whatever you want. Yes, I want to bring beef jerky. Yes, yes. yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these kids are crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you have one too. All right, they're going to give her a Nick Sticks. <laughs> Wait, this so good luck, you guys. All right, come on. Now, I'm so scared, right? Yeah. I'm, come on. Come on. All right, do you want me to do it? Yes, you do the talking. Uh, I'll hold the kids in there. Oh my God. Alright, I have no words. Darian. Never mind. <laughs> Joey went in. What happened? Watch it. <laughs> Joey, what did you do? Joey walked in and said, hello. I have no words. Goodbye. <laughs> he ran well, well, in. You're supposed to do the talking. Yeah. Okay, let's go over our lines, okay? Come over here. Okay, so here's the lines, alright? So just say, this is so important to us. We've worked so hard on this mystery. Can you please give us any kind of clue? This is turning into a challenge. If you guys can get her to do this, I'll buy you guys ice cream. <gasps> yeah. How about that? Wait, with ice cream cone. With, with a cone, okay. It right, has with a cone. To. Well, well, Darian can have whatever he wants. You, Axel wants a cone. If they can pull this off, Not I will buy them ice cream. Okay, they're trying again. No, you be right next to me. Okay. Okay, they're going inside, they're going inside. Oh, I can't stand it, this is so hard to Sorry, wait right here. I just, I can't do it, you know? Cut. So, we'll make you a deal. If you give us the clues, we'll give you Nick Sticks. <laughs> I've seen that on your show before. You watch our show? Yes, so does my grandson. In fact, I had a little boy that came in here with his grandpa, and they came walking in, and the grandpa said, who's that? And he goes, that's Teresa. And he watched your last one, that you came in here. But you know what, you guys? I feel really bad that I was so mean last time, but... I can only do one thing for you and then I'm done, okay? I promise, I'm done. All right? Okay. Can I get one of the sticks? Two. Two? Oh, yeah. wow. Well, actually four. There's two in that one and two in this one. I've always wondered what they taste like. They're pretty good. One second. Have you ever known anybody by the name Al? Yeah. All right then. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. She, knows Al. she knows Al. Okay, okay. Me, she knows what? someone named Al. In front, Al. In front, Al. Okay, 
Okay, so what happened? What happened? So we walk in. I do all the talk talking. You did all the talking? Yeah, and the thing is, she wouldn't accept it unless we gave her Nick sticks. We no. gave her the Nick sticks. And yeah, she said, look. I've always wondered what they tasted like. No, she did not. Yeah, she yes, she did. She did. The you guys are lying. Watch the footage. What? But, she but did she give you anything? Yes, this. No, and she knows someone named, by the name Al. Did you ask her that? Yes, yes, I did. And she said she knows Al. Al is our suspect for D.B. Cooper. Let me, let me see, what did she what? give you? What did she give you? An address. Did she say what it is? No. She just said, I'll okay. give you this. And okay. that's all I'm ever doing. Right, so and let's, she, and she, she said, said that's all I'm ever she doing? she said, I'm sorry I was so mean earlier. Okay, so it worked. <laughs> Man, so you guys We're did something that I couldn't do. To so what's this address? 1925 Main Street, Vancouver. Washington. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, and so Teresa watches our channel now. Yeah, she does. Five. Okay, so wait, what? She watches our channel. Okay, so she probably knew that we were coming. Then you were right. He was right. So she probably already decided that she was gonna say no. It's right here, 1925 Main Street, Vancouver, Washington. It's a building. Doolin's Village Cafe is right next to it. Did you mean ice cream renaissance? What does that mean? Wait, you ice have to buy cream. Us ice cream! Ice cream renaissance. You have to buy ice, ice cream. cream. I do have to buy it. So there's an ice cream shop. Wait, hold on. Is this the... We That's the address! The address is an ice cream shop! Yeah, <laughs> what in the we world? We need to get ice cream there! I'll How be right back. are you so loud? Wait, where are you going? Where, where are you going? I'm going too. Where's he going? Where are they going? Where are they going? So this address is an ice cream shop. That is so crazy. I just told them I'd buy them ice cream for doing that. <laughs> where are they going there? They're running back in the store with Teresa. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. What's he doing? Stay back. I don't know. What is it? What what do you do? What did you do? What did I you ask her? I said, how did you know that we that Patrick promised us ice cream? What did she say? She couldn't have known it. What? Yeah. I oh said, no. What what do you, you keep you stop lying. She Tell us. She didn't. She, she didn't. Okay. But I don't fully trust her. Well maybe she has some sort of camera or microphone out here. Maybe she's some sort of secret agent. Like maybe she works with the game master. Doubtful. Maybe no, we're no, underestimating Teresa. No, I don't no. know. Darian, me and you go ask her to Hold on, let's look let's no, wait, wait, no. let's look to see if they have any special right. spy cameras out here. Teresa, can you hear us? Huh? Wait, it says cameras. Right here. Where? It says there's cameras. Sir sir. Closed circuit television. Ah. Okay, so where are they though? I don't see them. Cameras can be really small and disguised as other objects. Hey, Teresa. Maybe we know there's you a camera in there. Us. Teresa, we hear you. We, we know you got a camera Daddy, watching what if, us. The light bulb is gone. What if there's a camera? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's just sending us to an ice cream shop? And that's it? No, what if that ice cream shop is So she's playing a prank on us. She's like, this is a clue, but really it's just an ice cream shop. Because you guys asked her, and then she said, oh, I'll let them have ice cream, but not a clue. Where are you going? They're going back in there. What is happening? Okay, so I guess let's let's figure this out. All right, come on, get in the truck. Uh-huh not be happy if this is just a joke because you know how embarrassing that would be you mean just, she played a joke on yeah, you just like so we should go there and maybe just play it cool so we get ice cream then when they go patrick Sal, or whatever they do we we'll give them fake names if they ask us our name i'll be roger broadfellow <laughs> no. roger broadfellow that's my name! No, no. how about Tex? We should speak with an accent. How about, how about Tex? No, Tex. that's my agent name. Alright, so we going to an ice cream shop? Yeah! Alright, yeah. let's do it! Uh, how about we ask for a double DB scooper? 
<laughs> and, and then see if they see if they like act all weird. Like maybe they know something about DB Scooper. <laughs> DB Scooper. Yeah, I love that. DB Double Scooper. <laughs> Ice cream. Okay, so we are going in real quick before we go to the ice cream shop to see if Teresa will help us get a thumbnail for our video. And Axel's gonna ask her what? If she knows big tunes. Okay, how about you ask her after we get the thumbnail? What were you gonna ask her? Wait, but do you know he... anyone? No, Darian, just look. Do you know anyone named Big Tuna? The nickname. No, I'm gonna say no because mm -hmm. I don't really. Are we talking about now? No. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? She said, Ow! Could Ow be Big Tuna? She sounded really, really suspicious. Okay, so did you hear that? He probably tried to give us one tiny clue. Is Ow Big Tuna? Ow is Big Tuna. Then who's D.B. Cooper if Al's Big Tuna? What do you think? Ice cream on the next episode? Ice cream shop? Yeah! yeah. So we're gonna ask for what? A D.B. Double Scooper? Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna see what they say. Because if they act suspicious, if they're like, what? That means they know something. If they act like this, um, we don't have that on our menu, so if you could order something else or... Get out of our shop! <laughs> <laughs> If they say that, then we'll know that we're onto something. If they just act confused, like, a what? Then we'll probably... Or if they just like, ha ha ha. Or if they laugh, yeah, because they might get it. They might be like, ha 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 ha, that's funny. But if they act suspicious, like then we'll know. Like if they're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, ha, ha. So on our next episode, that is where we're going to check out the ice cream shop. Remember, life is an adventure, and love, love is a key, and we love you. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.